Hey, second grade. It's Miss Leffel. Um, I have come to you today to give you a lesson on conflict and resolution. If you are wondering why you don't know what those words mean, it's because they have changed from problem and solution to conflict and resolution in a story. Most of your stories are going to have a conflict and a resolution to keep the reader interested in what's going on in the story and then you will want to find out what's going to happen at the end and how the characters fix their conflict. So let's find out in a deeper way what conflict and resolution mean with some examples. So what is a conflict? A conflict tells what is wrong or what needs to be fixed in a story. So if you look at the picture, Miss Luffel obviously doesn't look happy and there's a nice little chest here and it says Miss Luffel wanted to see what was in the old chest she found in the garden, but it was locked. So obviously if anybody found a nice old book and treasure chest in the bushes, they would want to open it and if it was locked, that would be an issue, a problem, a conflict. So most people would want to find out how did I get it open? What was the resolution? So resolution tells how the conflict is fixed or solved in the story. How did I solve my conflict? Well, I searched in the bushes and I found the key that opened the chest. So we ask ourselves, why does an author use a conflict and a resolution in a story? Well, having conflict and resolution in stories makes them more exciting. It keeps the reader interested because the reader wants to see how the characters resolved their conflict. So as you read the story this week in Violet's Music, make sure you're thinking as you read, what is Violet's conflict in this story? And what was the resolution? I hope you guys have a good day. Make sure you do your modules.